Hey there, Postal here. So today we're taking out the, what is this? This is the I-153P DM-4. Um, this is a pretty rare plane, but besides that, I'm not sure it's a really good plane. I don't even really find it all that fun of a plane, um, which is probably why I don't play it all that often. In fact, I probably would prefer the non-P version of this, but I don't even play that one very often either. Uh, what is this plane? Well, let's go by the looks first. Obviously, it's a Tier 4 Soviet... What am I in here? A Tier 4 Soviet fighter. I was meant what kind of game am I in, not what plane am I in. Meaning it's a low-tier Soviet freaking fighter. Meaning ridiculously low altitude performance. Very piss-poor airspeed. Um... Pretty darn good maneuverability, and you should if you've got a... Um, nope, we've got piss poor speed, so let's go over here. We're going to send everybody else there. Um, so you've got that package. You should be used to that if you play any of the Tier 4 Soviet planes. I mean, that's them. Slow, bad altitude, maneuverable. And this one's got all those. You'd look at it and say, well, wait a second. You're telling me there's some freaking ramjets strapped to the bottom here. Isn't that going to give you, like, super-duper boost even for a couple seconds? No. No, no, not really at all. Um, they look cool, but besides that, they don't do a dang thing. Um, the, the nifty thing of this plane is you do get two... Uh, 20 millimeter cannons at tier 4 which is actually pretty significant right but this plane is all about balancing out what you need balanced out these guns overheat very very quickly this plane is a fighter so it is pretty pissed for uh, use availability and so your job when you're flying this plane is to balance those two things out as much as possible You'll notice I'm almost never ever just holding down the trigger on this plane. And that's because at tier 4, 20 millimeter cannons uh, overheat incredibly quickly because there's just not a lot of them available, right? Unfortunately, unlike some other planes that might have 20 millimeter cannons at this tier, there's no supplemental fire. There's no 30 caliber machine guns to go with it, right? Um, and so it's literally all or nothing when it comes to that. Oh, hey, Hobbs. No, no Hobbs. Um, and so you're just dealing with that. And you do not have the airspeed to do anything. Um, you certainly don't have the consistent firepower to do anything like what we want to do. And Hobbs is going to be coming after us here, clearly. Let's see what we can do. Oh, never mind. Cool. Um, can we just go over here and attack this? Maybe? What are we going for? Nothing. A Bristol 146, technically. Hell, they can almost certainly outmaneuver me. Um, maybe not. But either way. Oh, hello. And this is where I'm going to run into lack of airspeed coming to get me. Because that lack of airspeed is hampering my um, altitude performance even more than it already is. Lucky that Chris is turning with us here, because he shouldn't be. But we'll take that. Let's go ahead and see if we can't knock this guy out. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we've got all this stuff. <laughs> Alright, so... Nope. Double nope. Ah, oh, this plane is so weak as far as, like, ability to take a hit. It just can't take a hit. And not that you expect your fighters to be, like... Super... Oops, there's the bristle. Super sturdy. But oh, this plane is especially weak in that regard. Oh, flip. One HP. That would piss me off if I was this guy. See, I've overheated my cannons. Yep, there comes Chris. One HP will do it. Um, yeah, and so I, I really, I don't even find this plane to be all that fun. Um, 
I find it too weak to be fun, if that makes sense. Which is weird, because there's a lot of weak planes that I enjoy. Um, but I'd rather, I'd honestly rather have the I-153 without the P. The machine guns on that, you just hold them down for your entirety of your lifespan. Um, yeah, they do less damage, but you don't have to, you don't have to... The, they do less damage on paper, but I feel like they do the same damage as these do because these guns are going to be overheating every so often. Let's see if we can't. Oh, I was going to say, man, we flipped that quick. Uh, and I'm going to try to get this garrison over here, too. On top of all that kind of shenanigans. Um, I kind of don't want to be shot by this. I knock this out? I mean, it's on fire, so it'll it'll eventually die anyway now. This is how quickly will I die. Nope. Heavy fighter inbound. Heavy fighter inbound. I can't take the hits, man. Apparently I can't give them either. This is what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, these guns hit hard for tier 4, but it's getting them to actually hit. They can be the frustrating part. Heavy fighters inbound. So for all intents and purposes, I'd honestly rather, I clearly rather be F one or nine B and all that kind of stuff. So is it a? It's a fine plane. It's just not a particularly really strong plane. We're about to get air supremacy, aren't we? We have complete control of the skies. Way to go. The answer is yes. Is this guy AFK. Oh, he's advertising. Well, apparently we're not able to get uh, Virgin Mobile. Are they still around in the U.S.? I don't even know. Uh, we're gonna get our candy canes. Yeah, he totally died and then quit. All right, cool. Uh, let's see if it, see if we can get to the center. And here's the thing. Like, oh, cool. Got these rocket boosts to get me up to a decent speed for two seconds, and then you know, Soviet plane. So you lose all that speed almost instantaneously. Let's get down to a re to you know super low altitude that my plane wants we to be at. You any the storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Over. And let's see if we can't take advantage of that. Oh, my gun's overheated. Oh, stupid guns. Ridiculously stupid guns. You can see how frustrating they are. Now the freaking heavy fighter's gonna hit me, and the B-40's gonna get me. There's the exact situation that's frustrating. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone after him. I obviously should not have gone after him. But, um, you know, I thought I could get him. Ah, dang it. We'll Should have got him. But we came out with the win there. And, yeah, you have you got to lean in on your strengths, which are not a lot. You'd think it'd be the 20 millimeter cannons. It's not. Um, you'd think it'd be having those freaking rocket boosters underneath the wings. It's not. Your strength is in your maneuverability. And, and with that strength, you're a dime a dozen at tier four. Let's head on back. Growing out my winter coat. Right now it just looks like uh, like gray skin, <laughs> but eventually, um, but eventually it'll be you know it'll be full and good. All right, so I know I'm ragging on this plane. Uh, it's I don't find it all that um, enjoyable. That being said, it's still a free tier four premium plane, and it's not a weak one. It's just. There's a lot that has to be done to, to make it a viable one. Um, on top of that, furthermore, I don't have my plane specialized, but because this plane is premium plane, we'll look at, at the benefits you get with that. So overall, we had a pretty darn good game there, all things considered. Had a lot of support from the XFL one, so let's not you know put this all on uh, put this all on me. If you ever run into Hobbs, he's uh, one of my clanmates, uh, and he knows what he's doing, right? He was in the XP44. Um, he didn't try to turn fight with me. Um, he was he he kept boosting on because he knows I can out turn him. Chris got tricky there. the The first engagement, uh, turn fight, 
But he learned from that and boosted straight up and actually got away from me, and I was lucky to survive that. I don't know what was going on with this uh, cell phone carrier guy, uh, but c'est la vie. I didn't realize we had a Key 45 that did some work, but didn't get any chevrons out of it. We actually had a really good balanced team. I suspect if they had been able to have an F2A that was helping them out, it would have been a more balanced uh, game. That being said, let's go back to the, the plane, the, the I-153P. Uh, uh, remember, this plane is a Tier 4 premium plane, and I apologize for the darkness of the, the plane in the hangar. I don't know why um, all the planes are so freaking dark in the, the holiday hangar, but c'est la vie. So it's Tier 4 premium plane. Everything's maxed out. You've got your two 20 millimeter cannons. You've got your engine with your two rockets, rocket boosters underneath. Cool. What's important though is the service equipment. You've, you've already got access to all your equipment. Your premium plane, you can put whatever you want in there. Um, the only thing you're gonna get out of this plane is gonna be very helpful, but it's the engine consumable. Once you specialize it, you can get that 10 seconds worth of boost. Uh, I would highly recommend putting in the engine cooling. So that's the 10 seconds worth of boost. Uh, that could be a game changer. I don't know. I don't foresee it being like that big of a game changer. But what do I know? Once I'm able to specialize this plane, playing it another handful of uh, times here, two or maybe three times, three or maybe two times is probably how I should word that, I'll be able to have that. Right now, I simply have accuracy put the sights on here you've got two 20 millimeter cannons it's all about getting them to hit as soon as possible i put some maneuverability on my airframe with the lightweight wing frame there's no point in putting the um polished skin on there because the polished skin takes away from your maneuverability for adding airspeed adding airspeed is fine but not at the the cost of maneuverability this plane's bread and butter it's only saving grace is its maneuverability you want to lean in on that. I do have upgraded engine here simply because it does add to the airspeed without taking away from your maneuverability. So I've got upgraded engine on here. Um, I suspect once I specialize it and I maximize that, it'll have okay airspeed. But right now it's really underwhelming. And it's not about the metrics. You can talk about the metrics, gun armament metrics, the maneuverability metrics, all you want. The reality of it is just in actual gameplay, it's not fast. It stalls out at, at anything above 3,000 feet, which is what, uh, less than 1,000 meters. Um, and the guns can be frustrating. When the guns hit, they're great, but they can be frustrating. Uh, so be mindful of that. Don't get this plane and be like, what the frig are you, what is this, what is this plane? It can be fun, but it's gotta be in the right circumstances. The other aspect that we haven't even talked about is because you're tier four, there's a lot of tier five planes out there, and so there's a lot of tier five matches you're put in. I can't tell you the last time I was in a tier five match in this plane. Certainly not in not streaming um, when when I streamed on Friday. No, I'm sorry, Wednesday. And certainly not today. Looking for a recording. They've all been tier five battles. It just kind of is what it is. Last perk though, being a premium plane, I've got my LA-15 pilot in here. So this is like my best fighter pilot. Um, he's got Marksman 2 on here. He's got Battle Tested, um, which helps the, the chance of injury. He's got my uh, Aerodynamics Expert. He's got Aerobatics Expert. So, you know, he's maximizing all that. Once I get an extra point, I'm going to change out Battle Tested for Resilience. Um, and that'll make him even better, obviously. But in the meantime, you know, you couldn't have a better pilot. I couldn't have a better pilot. You could have a better pilot. But you can put your best Soviet pilot in here is what I'm trying to say. And so that should help out a little bit. Um, don't get overly excited about this plane, I suppose, is what I'm t trying to tell you. I haven't even actually earned it in the in-game here. Where the heck is it? Here it is. It's way down here at number 28. Um, I, need to, I need to keep going, don't I? Next video we're going to post is going to be on the F5F, which is going to be another... Hold on, you might be disappointed by it playing. I actually enjoy the F5F though, and we'll go over that in more detail uh, in the next video. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep on grinding, get that P61. If you haven't just straight out bought it, um, seems to be pretty damn strong playing. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it's overpowered or not once we get it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one. Uh, happy holidays. Bye.